Oh, I need enough to cash or trade. It'd be nice if I got maybe a thousand dollars cash and a thousand fifteen hundred in trade. Uh, if I'm gonna give you cash, it's because I mean, like in the old days, I guess your typical phone call to a toy store. It's like, do you have a train set? Do you have like a bicycle or? Do you have? It's those... usually a grandma or something. Do you sounding. have this newfangled but that's, Duncan yo The stores don't. Yeah. Do you have sporting goods? <laughs> yeah. Somebody yeah. came in and said, do you have binoculars? Where's your sporting goods section? And I'm like, what are you? We don't have that. Oh, so the Mythic Legion's now. Which is pretty exciting. I didn't really do much research. It's kind of hard to find. And I'm all in for all future waves. So that's a great ad. Apart from, do I buy Beanie Babies or do I buy Hess trucks? The next most frequent asked question is, do you carry any Mythic Legion? And now I can say I do. So... Very exciting. Yes. And I do not buy Beanie Babies or Hess trucks. No Beanie Babies. And then we did restock uh, the Star Wars, which always gets gutted. I mean, it's been getting gutted hard. So it's at least full again. I don't have that many Power of the Force, though, but it looks good. So this is looking good, but we got to redo the He-Man. It's just it's been so nuts. We haven't had free time, but it looks good. We put all the trolls out. Let's get asked for a lot. And G.I. Joe's looking pretty good, so I'm happy with that. Transformers constantly gets hammered, but it still looks pretty good. But yeah, these cases will change constantly. Every day there'll be five or six characters gone, and then you have to put another four or five, six out. And then certain key characters you just can't replace as fast. Like if you get like a pop-up R2 or a Luke Stormtrooper, they go right away. Or if you you know you throw a scare glow or something, then they're gone. You know, you put a prime in or a megatron, they go. So we we have them now, so that's good. We have expanded our Star Wars section because we have so much more Star Wars than we ever had to put out. So it's a continuous wall now. Where there was nothing here before. This was an opening because there was doors here which were closed off, and we just stacked a lot of big box items. But now. We've continued the wall, so each of the, whether it's Power of the Force or Power of the Jedi or Freeze Frame or Episode One or Saga or Clone Wars, Legacy Collection, 30th Anniversary, it's all bigger and looks cooler. So the Black Series is this bottom row. I don't know. I just think it's more seamless and it looks cooler. Got more comic packs out. Which these are some of the expanded universe stuff, some of the cooler characters. And then the bigger sets up top, so there's tons of ships and play sets, vehicles, model kits, and more Star Trek. <laughs>
it'll be more valuable than the more generic con exclusive sticker. Oh wow, I gotta unblock the register. Yeah, this uh, is not just... Just slide that under. More? Last one. Alright. Yeah, I just put it I just moved it away from the register. Okay. Hi, I'm Lee Smith. Uh I've been shopping here for a couple of years. I uh, found out about these guys whenever they did a retro toy con um, here a handful of years back and just started coming in here occasionally looking for Masters Universe stuff and um, so I brought in my collection of Funko Pops um, so see what I could get and maybe trade or cash and trying to make room for other stuff in my collection so check them try to pick what the average price is add it to the total uh, sometimes it's easy because commons kind of follow, you know, a 5, 10, 15 kind of pattern. But then when it's a, you know, exclusive one, sometimes it just falls in an odd bracket. But we always look at averages because that's kind of where we want to sell them at. We don't want to sell things. Um, and have people say, "Oh, it's it's overpriced, or it's not that's not fair." We want to be as fair as we can. Yeah, there's no, but usually on a Saturday, this will, as you could see, another trade just came in that we got they got to wait on. But then a third one will come in probably. So then you try to shift, because then you end up blocking the register, and then people can't check out. So we sometimes it'll seem like we're not really looking things up but we do this so often we can do it pretty quickly but we kind of do it quick but thorough but we do it quick because you know 10 or 15 people can walk in and then it'll be bonkers in here well I can't tell you how many times somebody come in here and they're selling stuff these are all different yeah. <laughs> it happens a lot like four variations there. I'm like, I don't want toy collecting to be that way. So it's just so many things to buy. If I really like so there is I'll try one and variation, and I'll try and get it but all these look so exactly the same. Up. Nothing but big boys. Yeah, this will be a lot. For the most part, there's only a handful of anomalies. I've got everything from the vintage line except for the foreign releases like the two laser He-Man Skeletor and then the two Giants so obviously those are high end I wouldn't expect those anyway but um, classics I mean he's got a the bottom case full of you know most of those I'm missing and it doesn't matter to me whether they're open or um, still in package because I'm trying to collect both eventually but uh, yeah just kind of eye, eyeing some of that and um, maybe the giant he-man over there on the wall so i don't have any of those either but we'll see what were you thinking because i usually don't buy trains unless it's like a gi joe train i have no idea i was just curious what you were if you were even interested in it found it in storage i only thing i was thinking because it was old school it's a new bright something retro yeah that was my only thing I wouldn't want to. I I throw you a number, but you probably won't like it. I would. I probably give you ten bucks for it. That's fine. Oh, this is RoboCop three with the rocket pack. Oh um, yeah, so it's the NECA. Yeah, but it's the yeah. And then they do Glo Globo pack. Globo pack. Right. Yeah, because he gets that sniper. Right. Might have to. For those, you got to check. This one, I know. Is yeah. Is it complete? Looks like it. It's got the head and alternate hand. Yeah, the hand. Yeah, this one's cool. These are all the mini cogs. Street sharp muscles. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, Ooh. gotta get those. Yeah, there should be both of them in there. Yeah, those are cool. The problem with these is they don't sell. No, they don't. I mean, every once in a while. I might have sold one of these in six months. Yeah. 
It's a bank. Godzilla bank. It's easy enough. Should be. Did you do rubber cup? I did. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Matt. This is one of the iterations of Mad Balls. Alright, I got these. It's like a different a battle beast, but then there's laser beasts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was. Um... It is Marvel. So this is a battle beast, and I think that one's a laser beast. There's like marbles in their chest. There's They're like an obs. I mean, it's a little bit more obscure line, but it's, it's asked about a little bit often. They're, they're from Takara, which they were part of their version of Transformers, and then it was brought over here and repackaged as Beast Wars, separate from Transformers. Yep. What do you got? I don't know. I don't know how. What did I do? I didn't. That's pretty cool. Well, you did those. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So the okay. number was right? Yeah, it just adds up. So I'm gonna go to that. Mm -hmm. And so was the it? offer would be pretty much that. Yeah, two dollars. Well, it's three. Well, it's. Was he one cash? Well, it's that. Or three. Or that. Right. And otherwise, I don't want. It. Agreed. That's a lot of work too. Well, the muscles just won't sell. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying that one box. That's probably where the best money is, and we got to figure out each little thing. It's just a lot of fives and tens. Yeah. It's right, fine. So, so yeah, two hundred cash for three hundred feet. All right. That works. That's about kind of what I ballpark so. Cool. Uh, I'm just noticing, like, you could scan a lot of the pops and their sellers selling them for like six bucks free shipping. I mean, this case is worth five bucks. This pop stacks or whatever protector. But I mean, I mean, there's better ones in here, but. Their sellers selling some of these pops for like five, six dollars for shipping, which is like probably below cost. Whether it's an economy thing, which it probably is. I'm just moving it. Alright. I need to give my number before I start to sell again. Okay. That first tote, that was what it was. That was, that was a good tote. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so 12720. Oh. Been on that loss me in a long time. I like, I really like that line. I love that line. Uh, it's him in the, um. Well, Stratos? Sounds like Sean Connery? Or... Oh, yeah. A yeah, great that's a favorite. And Rain Man had a big presence in the show in the original. Yeah. And they did some cool stuff with Zodak too. They oh, right. really expanded on who he was, which was cool. The writing was great in that show. I wish it had started. The voice well. acting was great. All right, you can uh, pop, tap, swipe. I know that with pops, they're all over the place now. and So it's just, it's hard to know. I don't even know what I have in them. Oh, I need to know if it's cash or trade. <sighs> a mix. I, yeah. I don't know a good, <laughs> good bit of, of cash, and then and then uh, kind of eyeing out what I would like and trade as far as other classics and that sort of thing to fill some holes in my line. Was it cash or trade? So, mixture of both. Yeah. Okay. Well, one's one number, and one's the other. But if you take a portion one way, then it negates. Okay. The cash offer. Okay. Um, so it'd be nice if I got maybe a thousand dollars cash and. A thousand, fifteen hundred in trade or something like that. We'll, but we'll see. I don't know. Well, what's the cash flow? Uh, <laughs> I needed to know how to figure this out. Uh, if I'm going to give you cash, it's eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Okay. What would trade be? Twelve hundred dollars. But if you took two hundred dollars for the trade, let's say, 
now you have a thousand trade left, and I have a formula to tell you what the cash left is. Okay. So. All right. Um, I'll, I'll do cash. Cash? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Yeah. So the one toad had about eight hundred bucks. The rest, for the most part, as brands. Like I said, a lot of them are just not doing a lot. Yeah, because they want to but keep their quality consistent. There's some 15s they want to and 20s. Up, but to do that, they have to raise their prices, and nobody's but happy about prices going. Up. If the fact that people are selling for six dollars I mean, free shipping on, on eBay is not a good sign. People. The only line where for, I haven't seen anybody complain about the prices yeah. going up is GI Joe. All right, so yeah, no, we they, we just good. just set up our account with them. Well, I had saw on Facebook where you did, and so I was like, well, I'm going to get over there and check it out and see, because I only have a few of them as it is, you know? Yeah, I, people love them. I mean, I, literally, like, this week, which is, the, we added them to our show floor on Wednesday, in the last three days, now maybe today's not is an exception, but the last three days, it's like the top seller in the store. Out of everything we had... We've been selling the most out of that. Just keep restocking. It's only to three per peg. Right. Like, I can't restock them anymore. Uh oh. 